Welcome to the ET335 lecture on VHDL latches. Here I'm showing an active high SR latch, uh, the schematic, and here we have our Boolean equations. And what I've done is I've taken the schematic, converted it to Boolean, and then wrote out the VHDL equation. So this is a VHDL program based on the schematic of an active high. So these are NOR gates and this is the standard uh, syntax for a VHDL um, program. So SR flip-flop, SR flip-flop 1, SR flip-flop 1, all these should match to our hierarchy and our file name. So when we convert our VHDL we have Q equals not R or Q not, and we have Q not equal to not S or Q. So that would be straight from our schematic. Here I have another schematic of an SR latch, except this one is an active low based on NAND gates. And here I'm showing key inputs instead of the uh, button inputs because I need these to be high and low and I want to use the switches instead of the buttons that will only go low when I press them. So anyway, if we take this and we convert it to a boolean and then I convert it to VHDL, we could write the program. Again, SR flip-flop 2, SR flip-flop 2, SR flip-flop 2. So these all should match and I'm going to give you a file and it may be best to go ahead and just use the same name of the file and use the same file and just modify it. If you want to change the name, be sure that you start over again and make sure you start a new project with the proper names. And here's our, our VHDL equation. Q equals not, S not, and Q not. And Q not equals not R naught and Q, and that's based on our schematic, and we could go back through and follow through on that. Here I have an active high SR latch, um, but we're going to write a behavior where before we're doing it by the schematic, here we're going to write code that uh, takes care of the truth table. Okay, so again, we have to make sure SR flip-flop, SR flip-flop, and SR flip-flop are the same, okay? And make sure that you have the right uh, variables in here. So anyway, so let's go through the truth table here. If S equals one and R equals one, then Q is a set, right? So one, zero, the output is gonna be one. So that's our set, okay? Else if means else if this is not correct jump to the next line so if s is 0 and r is 1 then q is a 0 a reset so here we go 0 1 and we're going to get a 0 on q okay so um, if neither one of these are correct don't change so q equals q and Q naught is always going to be equal to not a Q. So this naught is a logic naught. This naught is a name. Okay. Here I have a gated SR latch behavior. And according to our truth table, for a set, we need a set for one, reset zero, and we have to be enabled. Then we're going to get a set, which is a one. And if set is 0 and reset is 1 and enable is 1 in order to get an output, then Q is reset or 0. Okay? And if these two aren't true, then no change. And always Q not and not Q. So Q and Q not are always opposite. Here I've added a positive edge triggered SR latch as a VHDL behavior. And this will be the same as a standard SR uh, positive uh, triggered SR latch. Okay, And what I did is I added this statement in here. If clock event 
change at the clock, something happens, and the clock equals 1, which means it goes from 0 to 1, which means it's a positive, then all this. We just need to make sure that this if has an end if, and this if has an end if. So actually, this if is this bottom end if, and this if is the bottom end if. So they both of them, we have to have two of them in order to close up our if statements. Okay, here we have a standard D latch. This is a, a level triggered, as I call it, level. And we have, go through the trace table, if data is 1 and enables 1, then we're going to get a 1 on the output of Q. All right. So if we have enable 1, which means it's going to pass data, and D is a 0, then we're going to get 0. Okay. If these two aren't true, we're going to no change. Okay. And again, we have to keep Q and Q not opposite. Here's our positive edge triggered uh, D latch. And you notice here our triangle that makes it a positive edge trigger. So this part is the same as a standard D latch. Here we've had the clock here enable. So if clock event means that clock change and clock goes from 0 to 1, which means a positive edge, then take care of it. So it's only at this clock edge that we're going to do it. And again, we need two indefs in this, okay? And Q and Q naught are always going to be opposite. Here we have a negative edge triggered JK latch. And you can see our triangle and our bubble. That means it's a negative edge. So again, we're going to put our clock statement in. So we're going to have a clock event, which means it changed. Clock equals 0, which means it went from 1 to 0, which is the negative edge. So the J and the K are the same as our SR latch. So J equals 1 and K equals 0, then we're going to get a set. If J equals 0, K equals 1, we're going to get a reset. Uh, the difference is here, if J is a 1 and K is a 1, then we're going to get a toggle which we're going to put Q into Q0. Okay? If no change, and our two end ifs, and then again our Q and our not Q are opposite. Okay, here I have a positive edge triggered JK latch with our triangle with preset and clear. Okay? As you remember, preset and clear are asynchronous. They're the boss. So those are the first thing we should uh, program. Okay, so right here we have our process. Okay, if preset is 0, then Q state equals 1. That means that we're going to make our output 1 if we get a preset. Preset low, we get a set. Okay, else if we get a clear signal, goes low, then Q state equals low. We're going to do a reset. Okay, so we have our first if and two else ifs. And this uh, second else if is going to be if the clock is one and clock event Okay, if it's 1, that means we've gone from 0 to 1, which is a positive edge. So our next else if, if it is, is the clock. So if it's not one of our preset or clears, we're going to go, go to the clock. And then we're going to go through and do a standard JK latch. Okay, and the first one is going to be a toggle. When we're J and K are 1, then we're going to swap states. And then if J is a 1, we're going to have a set. And if K is a 1, we're going to have a reset. We need two end ifs because we have two if statements. And this one is just going to be no change. And again, Q and Q naught are opposite. <laughs>